My father was a carpenter. My father went to work for the WPA back in the middle 30s. Worked 40 hours a week, got paid 50 cents an hour. So on $20 a week, a family of nine, seven children and family existed. I helped my dad and I learned how to use a hammer and a saw. After the war, I settled in Chicago, both to go to school at the Illinois Institute of Technology, study and continue my studies of engineering and architecture, and to work for a living. And the only living I knew at that time was uh, I had worked as an apprentice carpenter prior to that. And so I went to work for a general contractor, and uh, he was just a remodeling contractor. And after a year or so with him, then I went to work for a general contractor. I was being paid $60 a, a week with a wife and two kids, and the carpenters were making a hundred and a quarter a week. And I went to the boss and I said, hey, I'm selling the jobs, I'm designing the jobs, I'm doing all the estimating, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I want to get paid as much as a carpenter. He said, oh, I can't afford to do that. I can't afford to do that. I said, okay. I said, I'm going to go into business myself. And I had a big laugh out of that. Shortly thereafter, I pull up in the front of the office with my little pickup truck that I just leased. And on the side of it, J.P. Schwann Construction Company, Inc. I became very ill with arthritis. I mean, I was really, really bad off. My doctor says, you know, Joe, he says, I'll, I'll treat you like this the rest of your life. He said, but it's not, I, there's no cure for you except a hot, dry climate, he said, like Arizona. I came here before I moved my family here in May of 60 and took the test, the general contractor's test. Well, I was in commercial industrial, which meant I was building store buildings, factory buildings, warehousing, and so forth. For 14 years, I did all the work for Ford Motor Company up at Yucca, Arizona, at the proving grounds. In 1964, I built Embassy Square, an 11-story apartment building. And the first little job I built here was a, a 25-unit apartment building at 4th Avenue in Fillmore. Uh, and I named it after my wife, Catherine, the Catherine Arms. We did pioneer a lot. Uh, a lot of new tools came out, but it was still the skill of the individual that made the job look good, fit good, feel good. I guess I'm a pioneer, all right. I'm still here, and I was here back in 19 July of 1948. That's when I started in business. The whole family has to have the patience for a man in business, especially in construction. I wasn't the smartest guy in the world, but before we got married, I told her, listen, uh, I, I work. She would let me work, and I was kind of a workaholic, I guess. Like he said, he's a workaholic, and that's probably why I'm here. The only day I got to see him was if I stayed up late at night or I actually went to the job site with him. That's when I got to see him. So I pretty much lived and breathed it as I was growing up. And we still look up to him and he's our idol. Joe and uh, his peers and the people he grew up with in this industry put Phoenix on the map. It's the buildings they built and the work they did in this valley, not only in the construction, but as Jeff said earlier, giving back to the community that made Phoenix the city it is and allowed us to grow from uh, when I came here, about 600,000 people to about 3.5 million in the valley now.